The IPMI is producing a series of videos showcasing examples of interesting careers within the precious metals industry. This video will illustrate a wide range of careers available in the mining sector. Careers in mining include miners, mining engineers, mineral processing and metallurgical engineers, geologists, industrial engineers, environmental engineers, ecologists, biologists, wildlife managers, analytical chemists, statisticians, economists, and professionals in finance, accounting, human resources, law, training, health, and safety. Once precious metal ore deposits are found, the mine site is defined. A mine is the area from which ore is extracted, and mining is the extraction process. Mining processes are complex and vary depending on the type of ore, mineral deposits, and location of the ore. The most effective ore extraction methods must be thoroughly planned, efficient, safe, and environmentally sound. Precious metal ore can be found in three general types of deposits. First, load deposits, where metals like gold and silver are found in cracks or veins in surrounding rock. Platinum deposits are typically fine grains or flakes scattered through silicate rock. Palladium is also found in this metallic form in ore. Secondly, placer deposits are loose particle deposits formed where moving water had eroded the metals out of the load deposits. Panning, dredging, and sluicing are mining techniques used to separate the metal particles and ore from surrounding rocks and gravel. And thirdly, byproduct deposits, where precious metals coexist with other metals or are in a mineral rather than a pure metallic state. Two-thirds of mined silver, for example, is found as silver sulfide ore, which is commingled and mined with lead, zinc, and copper ore deposits. Platinum group metals, with the exception of platinum and palladium, can only be found in nature as alloys of gold and platinum. After mining, they must be metallurgically refined. There are two basic types of mining, surface mining and underground mining. Ore near the surface is much easier to mine. The mention of gold mining evokes images of the classic prospectors panning for gold in the 1849 California Gold Rush or the 1896 Klondike Gold Rush in Alaska. However, modern mining involves advanced technology to more precisely locate the rich deposits. Panning, sluicing, and dredging are all still used for small mining operations in river, lakes, and oceans for placer deposits of gold. When ore deposits are found on or near ground level, Vast open pit mines remove the ore near the surface. Rock is selectively blasted and trucked out for processing. Hard rock or underground mining, on the other hand, is much more complex and costly as miners dig thousands of feet under the earth to recover ore. Underground mining dates back over 2,000 years to ancient Egypt, Greece, and Rome. It has been developed to what is now the safe and efficient technology of removing ore from deep underground. The mine system includes a complex underground infrastructure which includes passageways to provide air, move miners, heavy equipment, and ore. These passageways are called shafts, vents, ramps, and staging areas. Underground equipment includes air ventilation, sump pumps to prevent underground flooding, crushing stations and conveyors to break down the rock, and maintenance shops to keep equipment and tooling working properly. The mining process involves drilling blast holes into the rock, setting explosive charges into these holes, and controlled blasting to break up the ore into removable pieces. The blasted rock is then scooped up with underground front end loaders dumped into trucks to drive up and out of the mine. In some mines, underground crushers and conveyors are also employed. Exploration technology also continues during mining, which helps mining operators to stay on track and avoid wasting resources removing lower grade material. Once the ore is removed from the mine, the mineral processors and engineers take over to start the refining process to physically and chemically extract the precious metals from the ore. Prior to any mining activity, governmental permits must be obtained which include environmental permits. Ecologists and biologists are employed to study the mine site and develop plans to protect the water, vegetation and wildlife. Environmental and mining engineers will also provide their plans on employing advanced and environmentally sensitive mining practices. Mining only begins once these plans have been approved, permits obtained, and a comprehensive environmental plan and funding assured 
for the return of the site to its natural state through reclamation. Mine reclamation restores the land during and after mining and commonly creates new wildlife and recreational areas. The IPMI has an Environmental and Regulatory Affairs Council which keeps members informed of regulations worldwide. Part 4 of this video series will take a look at the mineral engineering operations and extraction and concentration technologies of precious metals. The International Precious Metals Institute promotes the education and advancement of precious metals technology and business. IPMI is an international association of companies committed to providing technical resources and educational materials, including a series of videos presenting examples of precious metal applications and a variety of interesting and rewarding career opportunities.